Hello my beautiful people on the internet, in this video I'm going to show you how you can transform your boring Windows 11 newly installed look to this beautiful macOS look which looks more nicer and more beautiful than the usual Windows look. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get this macOS dock on your computer which acts like the same macOS dock which has been there for a while and this comes with a whole lot of new features too which is really going to take your windows to the next level and that's not only it you're also going to get this stage management on your windows computer which help you more productive and also take your work you are doing to the next level and also you are going to get this my finder dock on top of your windows and it's really going to get you the access to get all your quick settings over here and it's really really nice and after that i'm also going to show you a bonus tip on how you can get all your mac os widgets on your computer without any hassle so without further ado let's get started into this video so to get started i've done all the hassle to bring together all the files we are going to use in this video in one zip and you can download it in the telegram link below whilst you have downloaded it you have to extract this file on your desktop so when you extract the file on your desktop you are going to be greeted with all these files and the first thing we are going to do is to install the macOS dock which was below our windows so to install this dock you have to extract this my dock finder folder so i'm going to extract this one here once it's extracted i recommend you copy it and on the local this create a folder called macOS. So I'm going to call my macOS. Once you have this folder, I recommend you paste the my doc finder folder. And what we are trying to do over here is to place all the files we are going to use in this tutorial in one place where if you don't like it anymore, you can just delete the folder and you are good to go. So once you place it in your macOS folder on your local disk, open it up and then you'll be greeted with this. Once you have this, I recommend you run the doc64.exe. When you run it, it's going to ask you to allow it on your computer and after you are done, you are going to see this macOS doc on your computer. And after that, right click on the doc and click on preference. Once you are on preference, I recommend you scroll down to advanced and here go down and click on manage doc file and choose some course. Click on OK and OK again and then you are good to go. So now we've gotten this doc on our computer and we also have this state manager on our computer. Now let's go on how we can install the team on our computer. So head back to the folder on your desktop and then you will see macOS team which was made by Nivo and I recommend you extract it here. Once you've extracted this team, open it up and when you open you are going to see all these files and the first one is going to be 70 SP for control panel open this file and the first one which is 7 TSP Mac OS D and 9 extra just rename it and remove the dot remove from the last once you've removed it go back and then the 7 TSP icon team open that one too and just remove that one over here once you've removed all head back to your main files and then you are going to see this 7 TSP GUI 2019 open this one and move this file on your desktop once you have this on your desktop rename it and change the .ee to .ese click on yes and then run this file once you've run it Click on add a custom pack and then locate your OE1 file and then open the team file. And here, first one, what we are going to do is choose the 70 TSP for control panel and choose the file you renamed. 
you are it's going to pop up this click on yes and then click on start patching click on yes again and then it will install this team on your control panel so let's wait for it to finish installing and after it's done it's going to ask you to, for you to reboot your computer so i will see you when my pc has been rebooted once your pc has been rebooted click on ok and open the 70 sp app again once it's open click on add custom pack and here what we are going to do is we are going to install the custom icon pass which is the mac os icon pass for our windows computer so head back to your tsp icon team and click on this is a file you renamed and click on yes and this one too is going to install the mac os icon packs on your computer just click on start patching and click on yes so whilst it's reinstalling the icon pack on your computer what i recommend is please subscribe to my channel because it helps me with my videos and it will make me very helpful for making the videos for you and if you like this video please click on the like button and i'll be happy and i'm also sorry for my english because it's also sounding a bit bad and i'm still working on it thank you now the installation is done now and if i open my file explorer you are going to see that all the icons are changed so you can see that we are now having the new mac os icons on our windows computer and the next thing we are going to do is to change our windows explorer to look more like mac os so head back to the all-in-one files and inside the mac os team folder you are going to see windows 11 22 82 teams and copy all these teams and then head to your local desk windows and here look for resources after you find resources click on teams and here paste all what you copied over here once you've paste them here go back to your desktop and here go to the all-in-one file and here you are going to see ultra ui steam patcher just double click on it and the installation setup just accept their terms and condition and install sometimes when you install it is going to ask you for you to reboot your computer please do not reboot it and continue so once you reboot your computer go to your system settings and then change the team to a mac os team so i'm going to personalization and after that i'm going to teams and here i'm going to see all the teams i copied and here i'm going to choose one of the teams when you are choosing the team you have to be careful because there there are some of the teams when you choose you are not going to see this your bar over here so i'm going to go with this team and all the teams also comes with eight light mode and it's really really nice so i'm going to go with the first one over here and as soon as i change the team you are going to see this mac os action buttons on top of your windows but we all know that mac os has eight buttons at the left side of each window so let's go and achieve that on our windows to achieve this look we are going to install start all is back so double click on it and install for everyone whilst the installation is done it's going to open the quick settings and inside the quick settings you are going to be greeted with this just click on proper windows 11 and here in the start menu it has its own kind of start menu but if you don't like this one you can just turn it off and go with your default windows start menu and here it's also going to ask you to customize your taskbar you can choose to customize it like how you want and it's really really nice but where we are going to focus now is the explorer tab and here i'm going to change it to the seven command bar and here i'm going to turn off all this once i've turned this off i can close this one and open my explorer again and we are going to see that i'm greeted with this look and you cannot see the back and forward so what i'm going to do is going to change my team again to a proper one which is going to show me all the bars here so i'm going to teams and here i'm going to select the second one and see if that will change it and yes 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 
it does bring back our old icons over here where i can go forward and back but there's also a shortcut which is alt plus left arrow and you can choose to use that when you choose this thing but i like to go with this one so let's choose it and continue so once we've had this and now it's time for us to bring our buttons to the left side and to bring our buttons to the left side we first have to install old new explorer so i'm going to open this one and we're going to see there's four files in it so so just extract the folder over here so once you've extracted the folder here copy the folder and then go and paste in your mac os folder you created in your local this so i'm going to paste it here and whilst it's here open it up and here run the my old new explorer clg so i'm going to run it and it's going to bring up this pop-up make sure you choose all this and 10 of this one and just click on install so once it's installed you can close it up and go back to your desktop and to open the all you want folder and here you are going to see left side as a what i recommend you do is also to extract this one here and then copy the folder once you've copied it go and paste it inside your mac os folder you created in your local this again and then open the folder up you are going to see these two files i recommend you choose the first one with the version of 1.02 and just run this left sider when you double click on it you are going to see that your icons is now on the left side and if you want it to always be on the left side even if you reboot your computer then what you have to do is then to open your start menu search run and click on it once you've clicked on it here type shell colon startup and hit on enter it's going to open this folder for you and what i recommend you do is just drag it here and click on create shortcut here so what this does is that it's going to help start this program anytime you restart your computer and it's very very nice so now we've gotten this our mac os explorer on our computer and the next step is to make sure our dock comes anytime we reboot our computer so to do that what you are going to do is head back to your local taxi open the mac os and inside my doc finder open the folder and then run the doc 64 again once you've run this again you are going to be greeted with what we did and what you have to do is right click on the doc go to preference and here when we scroll down we are going to see start on boot method and what it does is that we can just choose start as a service and here it will automatically start itself anytime we reboot our computer and here what i also recommend you do is to automatically hide the taskbar anytime you boot your computer so that it won't be affecting your mac os look so here i'm going to close it up and here just right click on it and restart dock and when you restart it it's going to restart the dock again and you are not going to see your start menu again so now we are halfway through and what we are going to do next is to just change our wallpaper to this wallpaper which looks a bit nicer than the team wallpaper so once we have this wallpaper then we are almost there and what the next step we are going to do is that we are going to make sure we get some kind of blur look on our explorer which is really going to make it more stand out and very nice so to get this nice explorer look we are going to see a release 64 just open this zip file and you are going to see this folder inside just drag it onto your desktop and here copy it and paste it in your explorer file sorry in your look at the c mac os folder so i'm going to paste mine here and then pass a space here open it up and then run the 
register but make sure you run it as administrator which is not going to give you any problem so once it's done you can close this one and anytime you open your explorer again you are going to see that it's now a blare nice look so we've really go far now and our windows computer is really looking nice and the next step is that we are going to get the macOS mouse cursor and that few of animations we have when we are using our mouse on our windows computer and with that you can see mac the you can see mac cursor pack here just open this zip file and you see this just drag it on your desktop and when you drag it you can open the folder and here you are going to see all these files go back and with this install just copy and paste it in the Kesa files and open it up again when you open here right click on the installer and just click on install and what it's going to do is going to install this Kesa files in your windows Kesa so to change the windows Kesa to a mac os Kesa, just head to your settings and here we can go to personalization team and here we are going to see a mouse cursor over here click on it and here choose the mac and click on ok click on yes and now you have the mac os cursor on your computer so whilst we're doing that we got to know that our start menu is here and it's a bit showing up and a whole lot so to hide it you can just right click here and just click on hide taskbar and now your taskbar is hidden and you are good to go so now let me show you how you can get this mac os widget on your computer and it's really really nice so to get it you have to install remeter and it's very easy to install just click on ok and just follow the installation setup and it's really going to restore it on your computer click on finish and it's going to start and it comes with it default skins what you have to do is right click on it and unload the skins so once you've unload all the skins then you are going to see a monastery file in your files and just run that one too and click on install once you've installed it, it's also going to pop up its own explorer like look on your windows. And here it comes with a whole lot of Mac OS custom widgets. And what I like is to turn on the clock. You can feel free to look at all the widgets it comes with and they are very very nice. But what I'm going to go with in this video is the clock. So I'm going to choose the clock and here is the clock what I'm going to do again is to right click on it and select white and when I select white you are going to see this and just move it down here and it's really really nice so feel free to look here and you are going to see the things that might amaze you a lot and a whole lot so once I'm done doing it I can just close this explorer up and now I have this Mac OS loop. What I have to do is to just hide my desktop icons and I'm good to go. So guys, this is it for this video. 